Yeah. Follow, man. <laughs> That's what you got. Yeah, it's in the top. Well, we ain't getting 4.5. They got the proof they don't have the money. Right, but we the money. The mission has got to be finding the money. Well, he told me he has the county grant writer. the county grant writer is going after the money. We know what money we have to get. We just had to pay this to do our personal review. We already know what money we get. It's already there for us to get it. To get Fifteen million dollars. You're absolutely one hundred convinced of it. And you have to well, out. It's, it's five years worth of paperwork and assessments and all this other garbage like that. It doesn't mean we're finally approved for all this. Right. Wants to yeah. put the elevator in the stairwell. I said, good luck tearing that down. I said, why don't you just build it right beside this it? Oh, that's a good idea. I said, you didn't think yeah. about Yeah, you don't have to beside. film us talking about I'm not, it. Uh, don't worry. Uh, depending on everything, how they want to use I'm the footage, I might remove it. Yeah, just need it. Some of that stuff. Yeah, everyone and I not talking about the BS. That'd be fun. We, uh, I got my buddy. The mission, if I can step over here, John. The mission. The mission. The mission. The first part of the video. It was a mess. My stuff was a mess because this just, this just all fell apart. Hello? It fell together in the last week. It wasn't going to okay. happen. I'm at the Apollo. And I'm in the middle of... Uh, Work on three different of my yeah, properties right uh, now. So we got everything today I was just running around grabbing stuff. Because you, know? you know, I got stuff at each out. job. <laughs> I got stuff at each place. I've got both boys, Adrian and Calvin. Guess I'll take what I need and use it when I need it. <laughs> yep. All right. Much how that works. Well, yeah, I mean, once we get started, I mean, I'll take all the pa all the battery stuff up and put it on the table and set up a charging station and oh, all that. Oh, that's right. You said, uh, she said something about getting those pallets and get them taken downstairs before they get hauled off. Right. Well, well, they're not getting hauled off because of the road, but I think she wants to start with that. All right. Adrian, Calvert. Now right, we're going to get some footage of Matt Burns in a little bit. Doesn't hurt to get some B roll. See if we get some footage of that maze before we tear it down. And get some before stuff. Halloween one year. This is kind of my spot, technically. This was over here. They had me as a zombie running down here for most of the night. Scanning folks as they came up there, through there, to go up to the ballroom. Which that they have all the uh, stuff.
Let me see what they're doing. Anything they have a few people climb up the these uh, these stair ladders and kind of bang up top. Two years ago, they uh, they uh, for Halloween they had a uh, like an escape room thing. This is the ballroom. They'll have some of well, it's either this or you know. Part of this was like the staging area, and they kind of had the maze from about here back and oh, soft spot. Off here. Matt Burns is a part of this. I, I give him. He may even kind of stand up until. Yeah. I'm just getting some B-roll before you all tear it down and start your stuff. <sighs> <laughs> Alright, so this is the ballroom. Yep. This is where we're going to be working, my understanding, I guess. Yeah, from what I gather, uh. They said third floor, I'm assuming that's it. This could be the third floor, I forgot. This is the ballroom, though. I know there's one floor up. It says go Colts. That doesn't look like. That doesn't look like Halloween stuff. You want four. I know they said maze, and there could be one four up. Let's find out. Yeah. Oh, the oh, maze. Oh, yeah, that, that looks like a maze. <laughs> ah, yes. This looks more like it. Yep, this looks a lot more like it. Yeah, this definitely looks Halloween-y. Alright, I'm backstage back here, so... I'm taking it. This was the wrong direction. <laughs> this is backstage, backstage. This is yeah. knock on wall backstage. This is the actual maze. Could have been part of an organ or something. Ah. Well, either way, it's like a prop just so the keys are fake. Yeah, yeah, prop just so they can have somebody you know. Dan -dan -dan -dan. Uh, like I thought a, it was an automatic. Uh, oh, oh, player piano? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought too. And it's like, eh, nope. <laughs> nope. It's a, somebody pieced together a facsimile. Oh, so. secretary's desk is what it actually kind of looks like. Yeah. At least something to, uh, I don't know. as a prop for something. Something. All right, so there's that portion of it. This is so weird to look at this while the lights are on. <laughs> so used to, I've enjoyed when I was a ticket holder of the Halloween 
Oh, I get. I think I know. Uh, they have somebody, you know, pull the door open and go boo. So that way, that, that way, uh, there's some sort of protection Don't between. Contact. Yeah. We can't touch you, and you can't deck me. <laughs> Not to mention, they had like an escape room back in 2019, if memory serves. Somewhere through here, she said that they're going to have a, a squeeze wall. Oh, I remember like one of those. I think we came back full circle. No. No. Now we did. Oh, now we did. So. I think some of it was like me, maybe blocked off or something. I don't think that's part of it. No. Nope. <laughs> Again, that's probably just like a hidey hole. Yeah. Probably same thing with this door down here too. Yeah, this is sealed. You need a pass card. Yep. In order to get in there. I think she said something about this might be they had they were gonna make an old cabin. At the entrance of it, I don't know. Yeah, usually they come up this way yeah. and head that way. All right, so that's hidey hole. Or was a hidey hole or will be a so hidey hole. That's storage. Okay, that's storage. Let's call it that. This door was open when I came through the first time, and now it's locked. Shut, and now it's shut and locked. I guess I shouldn't have shut it. It was in the way. Room three, me stone, EMR door. We went this way. Yeah, I mean, is there another door over here or something? This looks like there's a... Another door there. Yep. We, we step over the... Yeah. Step over the corpse. Yeah. I guess eventually you'll end up in there. Wait, what are we here? I don't remember seeing this ladder. Watch, we get lost in the stupid maze. No, here's a kitchen. I guess we're going the right way. Okay, we've been here. Uh, just that we haven't that been. Was, that was with the uh, plexiglass. The plexiglass is on the back side of that door. Okay, so that we're in essence heading the right way. Oh, just that, uh, I guess most of the storage here is, okay. will be cleared out and adjusted and it's props and stuff. Okay. Looks like gold. I can't think they're going to send people up there. No. If I remember correctly, uh, when I helped out like 10 years ago. Holy crud out loud. No, they ain't putting people up through here. That's no, 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 no. That is a steep climb right there, brother. Yeah, I don't think a lot of people are going to be able to get up there. They do have... Oh, it's a sound booth. Ah, sound booth. Awesome. Part of me wants to see the sound booth. <laughs> yeah, it's, there's a... Uh, like a mixing board up here. Uh, looks like a little CD player, some speakers, and a full overview of the entirety of the layout. Ooh, I might want to just, uh, what I'll do is. There's that board down there to keep people from the building walking over the edge of this. Yeah. Turn the light on. Black light to see what you mean. Well, I didn't even look at the light. What direction did we come in from? Uh, uh, back there where the exit sign is. Okay. I didn't even notice there were chandeliers hanging there. Look 
I've played one too many video games, too much Call of Duty, mm -hmm. Modern Warfare, and uh, Medal of Honor. I always kind of have that you know, glance up because I could be a player at some sort of position. Never thought I'd be privy to a view like this a little bit. It's going to be interesting. Twists and turns in it, you're definitely gonna need to know the layout. Yeah. Even though uh, kind of volunteering everything and Yeah. I remember one year, this was uh, maybe two thousand and seventeen, two thousand and eighteen, something like that, when they last did the haunted mm -hmm. like the uh, haunted theater and the maze and all that. Yeah, last time I, I was involved with it, I was working security for it with the uh, Berkeley County Deputy Reserves. So I, w I was in a stairwell most of the night just, you know, watching people going up and down. Um, and that, that in and of itself was pretty interesting. Um, I tailed in the uh, last group that came through. I fell in behind the last group as, as you know, last man out. So we made sure that the building was cleared. And they, they do a pretty good job. Yeah. They do Honestly, a really good job. I, I, I'm a fan. I know the camp behind it, so mm -hmm. I'm not really the person to be startled or, or anything like that. I love being in the group, seeing the other people be scared. I know it sounds narcissistic a little, but it sometimes it, it makes it more fun. Yeah. And, and one year they had a, a pitch black section of the maze with like bubbled up carpet and mm. stuff like that. And you couldn't see three inches in front of you. You couldn't see anything. I was in the back and they were like two, I want to say uh, young adults, teens uh, in front of me, two, both gals. And I'm just, <laughs> I'm enjoying this. Just muddling that. And I hear both of them like, oh my God, all of a sudden they're getting scared more and more me just chuckling out loud and i bump into one of them and i say sorry and all of a sudden they get even more scared the more they're getting scared the more i'm enjoying it because it's just one of those i'm not part of anything and it's just i'm adding to the ambiance yeah. and it's it, just you hear them just go all scaredy girly so to speak i don't mean that in a bad way it's just like oh my god where are they? and just what are we going to do? What are we going to do? And just that hype, almost that hype is scream like, boom, sorry. Ah! Mm -hmm. <laughs> then I'd chuckle because they're starting to scream and get scared. And it's just that s cycle feeding each other. And it's just like, oh, this is so good. And I came, well, everything after, I was like, can I go again? <laughs> that, that group was fun. Yeah, as a general rule, I don't really get, like, overly scared in haunted houses. I mean, there's, you know, I'll go through them and there'll be things that, you know, people jump out and they'll startle me or something like right. that. The, I think the most scared that I've been on any kind of haunted attraction lately, believe it or not, was at King's Dominion for Halloween last year. They had a corn maze kind of thing set up. And you were, like almost halfway through the thing before you encountered the first person, but you were anticipating somebody around absolutely every corner, every niche and nook and cranny in there. So by the time that you were actually met up with the first person that jumped at you, your nerves were already frayed. I mean, you, you, you were just live wire already. I know one year I tried to do, this was again, more than 10 years ago. Um, as you know, most, like Kings to Maine, do a haunted park. Mm -hmm. uh, I went up to Dorney Park in Allentown, Pennsylvania. Okay. And I figured I'd go early, you know, try to, you know, it's been like, at that point, it was like 20 years since I've been at the park. Wander around, see what's up, try to enjoy myself. I was not amused. <laughs> it was just one of those, it's just the park changed. Yeah. So many times they didn't fully... Redecorate the park and change, you know, remove old rides and add, it's a lot of places were overgrown. It's just like, no, no, I, I yeah, couldn't stay. I, yeah, I couldn't stay. Yeah. You know, I couldn't stay until dark so I could get that scared. I'm like, no, oh, yeah. 
Uh, but I knew a few, uh, had a few friends in that area, so I went to see them. And but I like a lot of local stuff that like this because a lot of times it's cheaper. Oh yeah. And you get more bang for your buck. Uh, granted, you have more production out of King's Dominion or Universal They've Studios. They've got the budget to do it. Yeah, but here you get effort. You get the people that want to do it, and mm -hmm. at times, like if you don't know what goes on behind the scenes, it gives you a chance to volunteer. Right. And be a part of it. Set, setting up, tearing down, you know, doing something new. I, I know me and a buddy of mine, uh, who's also a mutual friend of, of Matt's, uh, we did something. We, we didn't volunteer, but um, we went to ticket holders, me, him, and his, at that time, fiance, now wife, um, in Winchester. We, they had, like, a little bit of a path to go up to the haunted house where they tried to scare you. Now, mind you, uh, folks at home were going to go a little R-rated. We were assholes. <laughs> and they, they'd come crawling out trying to scare like, oh, my eyes, my eyes. Quick, take his money. You know, he, what is he going to do? He's blind. He says he's blind. You know, yeah. you know it's stuff like that. Just you know, humorous one-liners. You know, that's what I do. Going and through things like this. Uh, we get to the end of that little section where people are crying out. We're just stepping over and just enjoying ourselves. Um, again, we get to the end of that, and you have somebody kind of in the Quasimodo, you know, scarred up and makeup, and like follow us, and we kind of do the whole. Uh, Mel Brooks, okay, and we all hunch over and just shuffle along. She's trying not to laugh because we're just enjoying ourselves, and we're, she knows that we're just enjoying ourselves, and we're just cracking jokes, having a good time. We're, we're like, ooh, look at this. Look at how he did this. Look at this. And we get to the end, and we're leaving. They say, they're yeah, waving like, bye, bye, and we're like, Bye, thanks for the cookies. We enjoyed ourselves. We'll come back soon. And uh, they went to work the next day, and they said, they knew a few people that volunteered at that. They said, you guys were assholes. You were fun, but you were assholes. <laughs> but, and, like, that's us. We just have, we just want to have fun. Yeah, see, now with my wife, if she were to come through this, I guarantee you she'd be wanting to stop and look at all the props because Yeah, that's antiques. what I do. That's what I do. Because she's I a, didn't antique person you know just fascinated by him yeah i did back in 2010 i helped set up and i volunteered for one night they had me um and that one uh not here they had me on the uh stair, little stair section right on the balcony of the stage that uh, if you're looking at the stage it's like this side mm -hmm. upstairs and they had me, like, dressed up as a zombie and just, you know, running up. I'm like, well, you can't just go out and go, boo. You know, people are not going to get scared. It's just yeah. hop out and go, boo, or rawr. So I decided, you know what? Even though it's a slight ramp, I'm sure I could work it out at some point. Run down, kind of do like a 28-day uh, zombie, just run down, but stop a few feet prior. Just kind of, like, do the whole stop scare. And... One time, I just, at one point, I just overestimated the, the slant of the balcony, and I ran. I just rolled with it. I stopped, and it was like I was inches from this person. I just managed to hit that zone. I looked past him and kind of like sniffed the air like, I know somebody's here. And I just, out of the corner of my eye, I see her just literally shaking. And like, that's what, that's the energy. That's the... That's the, the scare. Zone that's the zone. You know, I might not hit that again all night long, but that's God, what you want. That's what you, you know, kind of you see them kind of shake. You know, that that's you know, you tilt your head just right and just pull it off just right. Sometimes you, I, and a couple of um, uh, groups later, there was a mom with her tank. The kid was enjoying stuff, but the mom's like, "Don't be scared. Don't be scared. It's okay. Don't be." And you know dang well she's saying it more so for herself, for herself. than her son who's just enjoying him. Like, I'm having a blast. I know, yeah. this is cool. So you, you have to keep a straight face for that. And, you you know, it's you got to keep the straight face. And once they leave and they're like, all clear. And you're just like, oh, that was funny. <laughs> 
Somebody give that kid a quick age. I was on home. So. My sister uh, went through a haunted house one time in Crown Point, Indiana at a college. And she had a bad experience with it because just like with any other haunted house, they're not supposed to touch you and you're not supposed to touch them. But there's holes in the wall that people would reach through. Well, some dude decided he wanted to get real cute. He reached through about ground level and grabbed a hold of her ankle. Ooh. And she turned around and kicked at whatever it was that touched her. Snapped his arm. Ouch. I mean, I never saw lights come on in a building so fast in my life. And, and the thing is, I, I'm willing to bet it wasn't one of those types of haunted houses where, you know, there's waivers signed, you know, that sort of thing, but... No, I don't, I don't think so, but, um, yeah, I mean, we, you know, we were given the, the briefing ahead of time before our group went in, you know, they're not going to touch you, don't touch them, you know, yada, 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 whatever. Well, some dude, one of the guys working it decided, uh, I'm just going to reach my hand through this hole and grab a hold of whatever I come in contact with. He learned that was a bad idea. So what I'm going to do is... I don't know if they'll use it, use this switch, but uh, I know. Light switch over there against the wall. I know. Uh, uh, one year. Again, this was like 2010. Uh, 2010. Uh, they had a, uh, whoo, a ghost hunt hunt right in the Apollo Theater, and uh, one of the places they did kind of a, a spirit box thing was in the center. I'm I was standing. Right where I'm at now, I'm looking over here. The rest of the people were that way. And I was going to tell you, it's like, if you notice anything, if you feel something off, you know, just say something. You know, you're in a safe space, you know. You're not going to be laughed at or critiqued. And I said, well, again, I'm right here, my back's here. I'm like, I feel something like kind of behind my shoulder, my left shoulder. And everybody's kind of giving me that look like, yeah, right, horse crap. And all of a sudden, on the spirit box, you hear, tru, 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 there it is. Tru, 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 tru. It was just clear as day, and everybody's like, oh, crap. <laughs> I was like, nice, that's what you want. <laughs> nice Halloween stuff. I'm like, nice. Yeah, this was, uh, this was the, guy, the boys' dressing room for when yeah. they did Titanic the Musical. And uh, they also, uh, one year, they kind of gutted this and... Used it too as part of uh, uh, Halloween, uh, the haunted Halloween. They used this whole hallway. And I can't remember if I hear that ball. Thunk. It's a dodgeball ball, I think. Basketball. Yeah, it looks like a dodgeball ball. Everybody hears those things like thunk. Wee. If Henry serves, I think this leads you to the stage, I think. Oh, motion light. Well, we have no idea where we are. Yeah, stage. What was in here? Was, it was like either here or upstairs in that uh, dressing room where they had the uh, ghost haunt. Oh. oh, I had to hear. <laughs> I'm like, oh crap. Door squeak. I was like, if it wasn't the door, I'd be like, that's totally awesome. Getting B-roll for Matt and everything else. And guess what? Catch the ghost on. Ooh, do not enter. Hello. Oh yeah, there. Yeah, I know where we are. We go this way. We're up at that balcony. Yeah, that's the uh, right yeah. side balcony from there. Yeah, this is where I was telling you where I helped out. I was kind of like on that ramp down there.
<laughs> they always forget about that step. Watch, I forget about the step. I just saw you kind of stumble and fall.